Here at the People Centered Internet, I'm talking to Monique Morrow, who is the CTO, one of the CTOs at uh, at Cisco, thinking about long-term opportunities. What did you think about the People Centered Internet Conference? Well, I, you know what I thought about is that it was a wonderful agora, bringing in diverse um, thoughts from various various parts of the world and various sectors. So I think very much that the People Centered Internet is really core to what we do at Cisco, which is really around. You know, the internet has always been uh, looking at how you change the, the way you, the world thinks, play, learns. And so what we're now amplifying is this whole concept of, you know, people centricity, empathy, and making it about uh, not so much about the technology, but more about, uh, you know, having people being able to be part and absolutely advocates and absolutely users of of that, of that internet. Yeah, now what we specifically want to do here is more uh, initiatives around healthcare. Yes. And uh, and to see this this small group, I mean, there's a small group of people who make the internet. I mean, I talked to Finn Surf yesterday, I asked That's him, right. how long did it take to do TCOP? And he did it 30 years ago in nine months. Yes. And it was a small group of people. Is this, I mean, this group wants to get data more, uh, you know, to, to each, integrate data, make it more useful for the community. We saw some examples of how uh, medical data patient records can, can grow. Is that, is that something, uh, what, what did you think were the most interesting initiatives in this, uh, during this conference people talked about? Well, specifically around healthcare, you know, you do have to care about um, what's happening in terms of uh, information exchange and healthcare exchange and also who, it's no longer a question about who owns the data. We all know that the, the patients are owners of their own data. Oh, excuse me. I mean, we in Europe absolutely are not convinced about that. And if we are convinced, <laughs> then we say maybe the patient has right, but he can never look at it. But you, you know, know, except for uh, Estonia. You know, so don't, don't <laughs> tell me that that is clear for but everybody. I, but I do live in Europe. So <laughs> I live in Swi a country called Switzerland. Uh -huh. I mean, so there are modalities. And yes, of course, data sovereignty and privacy are, are, are of up, utmost concern. <laughs> a part and part, really candidly and very uh, seriously speaking, yeah. is that we're looking at uh, how can you use something called the internet to have an exchange of ideas among the players, especially in healthcare, the people who are act actors if, in this in this whole uh, in this whole domain, if you will, mm. and I think that's a, that's that's one part of it. The other part is education. You know, how do you use uh, the internet uh, as a platform for learning? So there are some intersections. I think today's dialogue, uh, or this uh, specific around healthcare, focused, in my opinion, around, if that was U U.S. centric. Um, and, and it was specifically, there yeah. were great cases in California, but you're absolutely spot on. Um, they, wow. These are We also had Estonia, come on. Well, we, we in Europe were here, we're here we had, we with had, Estonia, so that we was had, good. We had Estonia. <laughs> the smallest country smallest in the world country. with 1.3 million, and that, was the, way, the, that by, was the star. Yeah. And by the way, the person actually <laughs> representing Estonia is a medical doctor. So, uh -huh. I mean, a wonderful <laughs> learnings here. Yeah. So you had, and I think all of this together with regard to healthcare is to change the dialogue. And to change the dialogue, I mean, what Estonia proposed was here is an architecture. What they did, and look at their learnings, is they had to start from anew. Yeah. I mean, and, and so that's a, a, an example. So much easier than so starting much, with a, all these systems it, we have here. It's a green field, right? Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. don't have the luxury. All powered by Cisco, by the way. So to integrate all these systems well, together. And we're very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're very, very proud Thanks. of that. So, but here's the other part, component that I really, really cared about. And that came out, as you well know, in the conversation is about how do we use um, this people centered internet uh, to really enable and capture another population of the world that needs to be, um, and you know, empowered. The other part, the other billions. The other billions, billions yeah. the billions, and then you have uh, elderly people, we heard that um, in, in some of the reports, but also women. And, uh, you know, this is my, the notion of this uh, Internet of Women, and I think there is a lot of appetite in, 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 in the thought process, and the thought yeah, leaders here, yeah. to actually look at how we amplify that uh, in terms of not just, it's not technologies, but how we can actually amplify it in terms of narratives. Thank you very much. Thank you.